A quick warning that this video is very graphic and not for the faint of heart, so if you're not into that kind of thing, I would look away and wait for the next video. And if you want to see this video uncensored, then you can go to patreon.com slash Dakota Broski and it will be a tier there. All right, on to the video. So, if you're a fan of Trash Taste Podcast, recently the episode with Sid Snap, the person I edit for, I had a conversation with Joey about uh, something not so pleasant called Erogura. But I will say, uh, the dead baby stuff is not my favorite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought since it's the spooky season, I would go ahead and just go and uh, look up this Erogura because they said they couldn't do it and it's disgusting. And I said, why not? Gore, Gura, Ero, sexy, maybe it'll work. And maybe I, maybe it's not as bad as everybody thinks. And I'm not a really big gory person. I don't like gore as in I don't watch it. And also, I don't like gore because it doesn't really do much for me in the aspect of just being gore. For example, the I did a manga called Magical Gore Apocalypse where there's a bunch of gore in there. Didn't really bother me. But then the things that are more down the earth, more realistic kind of things, I bit my tongue there. Ow. But I do find that the things that are more realistic hit a lot closer to home for me. For example, Metamorphosis really fucked me up because that shit was written because it actually happens. And that's saying that's gore or horror, I'm just saying that's more like psychological fuck with your head thing. Another series that really messed me up was Though We May Burn to Ash, which Sydney did a video for, uh, and I had to edit that one, and looking at the images of what happened and the things she described that I had to censor, uh, really messed me up because it was actual torture devices that they used on these witches that couldn't die So they just were left alive suffering um, Like a brazen bull and that really thing is fucked with me so hard because that shit actually happened So evidently Erogoro is this thing where uh, It's Ero, okay, obviously and then Gore which means put those two together and you got Erogoro some fucker out there was like hey, I wanna I like gore, but I also like having my dick in my hand why not just do both? And thus, Edo Guro was made and born. And then uh, I thought, okay, it can't be that bad. You know, nobody is that horny and that fucked up at the same time. And I was wrong. I was so wrong. I was I was so wrong. And the, I when I talk about this, I there's a reason why when I tweeted out at Sydney and Joey to give me their worst recommendations, they just wouldn't give it to me. And honestly, it really, it's just fucking, it's a lot. It's its way too much. It's, it's, Komi-san, Komi, baby, honey, please, you don't want to be here for this. You don't want to be here for this. I, oh God. Yeah, she's fine. All right. You can, you can deal with it. You, nobody cares. Also, this is my first video that is going to be Patreon exclusive because I obviously cannot show half the fucked up shit on this manga or doujin uh, on screen on YouTube. So if you're willing to go to patreon.com and go to the $5 exclusive, you'll be able to see all of this uncensored. But do you want to? So patreon.com slash the cut Without further ado, let's just open this fucking can of worms that I'm not prepared to talk about. <sighs> All right, so Eroguro is, it, it, it basically circles around body uh, mutilation. I think, is that what the end of it is? That's like the worst of the worst. So they either go for the shock factor of how fucked up a body can get and then how sexual that body can get, or just the body decapitation, losing a body part, opening up a wound and f maybe fucking the wound. And when you say things out loud like that, people like, like me was like, oh, that, that's not bad. I can handle that. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing really can come out. Of, I, I, can, I can do that. What's the worst that can happen? And it's kind of like that thing where, you know, um, you go up to a friend and they're talking about, like, you know, like a fear factor. And you're like, oh, I could eat a cockroach anytime. It's just a fucking bug. But then somebody sits you down and puts a fucking cockroach in front of you. And then you're like, oh, this is a lot worse than I thought it was. That's how I was with this. Okay, whatever the fuck euphoria was, uh, yeah, girls are eating shit. Oh, wow, la-di-da, you know, that's so bad. No, how about this? A, a fuck, having sex and then whipping out your stomach and your intestines falling out, and then while you're alive, the guy uses your fucking intestine as a goddamn own a hole. Like, just literally taking and... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> so, the only Edoguro I've ever read was this one right here, uh, which apparently is a lot of people's firsts, uh, and, and, and it better be proud of itself because this is the first and only one I'll ever fucking read. The series is Applicant of Death. 
And it opens up with a naked girl just sitting in a chair in some random fucking room and going, Hi, my name is so-and-so, and I'm going to get killed. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. This girl wants to die, but the preferred method that she wants to die is being shot in the fucking head. The reasoning for this is that she saw JFK's assassination on a video and then she was automatically just mesmerized by the fact of getting her goddamn brains blown out. Yeah, that's right. The John F. Kennedy. I will see you there. And by will, I mean won't. <laughs> No, 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 not that one, the, the one, the other one, the real one. And then she's like, yeah, no, ever since I seen that JFK footage of JFK getting shot in the head, uh, just the, the imagery of getting your brains blown out just turns me on so much to where I have to fiddle my Beyblade every single time. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip, let's fight and But wait a minute. I want to be turned on by this when I get my brains blown out. How do I get shot in the brain and also, you know, be horny? But have no fear because the girl she's confessing all this stuff to has a special drug that she puts in that's morphine and all that shit that will keep her alive long enough to experience the pleasures of pleasuring yourself and being shot in the brain. Man, aren't I so lucky to be reading all of this? And I, and I'm the luckiest fucking person in the world. So it comes time for her inner thoughts to be her outer thoughts. And they have a giant mirror there that's bulletproof that she can watch herself and everything that stuff happens. So homegirl grabs a fucking 38 and just goes, all right, you ready? Have fun. Let's go. And then bam, shoots her in the back of the fucking head point blank range, which obviously blows half of her goddamn head off. And then the girl in charge of this experiment is automatically just starts fingering her. And then the girl who got her head blown off is like, Oh, this is so fucking hot. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. There's my brain. That, that's my brain? Oh, this is... Oh, God, I'm getting queasy actually thinking. Mm. Am I even allowed to talk about this stuff on YouTube? So while she's getting fingered, she is looking at herself in the mirror and grabs her own... She starts fingering her own brain. She's fingering her fucking brain. Now I understand the existence of the brain on a hole that, okay, I don't understand it. Now I can see why there's a fucked up person and a brain on a hole in the same vicinity of each other. So she's getting finger blasted while at the same time fisting her own fucking skull. And then, and then she sits there, she comes and then she dies. And that's the, that's the entire entirety of this. Or so I thought, because wait, there's more. So then we get a brother and a sister pair that are talking to each other. And the brother is going on and talking to the same cunt that finger blasted the brain lady. And, you know, I guess head blasted too. And the brother's like, all right, cool. I have this really big fetish. Uh, I want to die. I want to get my head cut off right when I'm coming. Can we do that for me? Is that included in my package? And then the sister walks in and is like, oh, not only is your package included with the uh, getting your head cut off, we also brought in your sister who also likes cutting off heads because she practices katanas and she wants to cut off somebody's head and she thought you'd be the perfect candidate. So we have in a room the brother who wants to cut get his head cut off while coming and then the sister who wants to cut off a head. And then with no transaction really, she just starts giving her brother head. The main girl in charge starts having sex with the brother and the brother's like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it, let's go. And then all of a sudden he comes and the sister cuts off the head after she got done fingering herself. The severed head is there. The, the body's there still, you know, throbbing. Um, and then the end, right? No, it gets worse, much worse. So when you think the brother's head stops reacting and he died, uh, he didn't die, which is what I want to do right now because this is a terrible fucking read. The woman hooked up the kid's head to machines to keep the head alive so it can watch his sister fuck the decapitated body. And not only is she fucking her dead brother, well not dead brother, decapitated brother's body, um, and as she comes, she stabs herself and all of her guts come spewing out. And then she gets her head cut off and then we have two decapitated heads and then the the girl who's in charge is like, oh, this is the cutest story I've ever seen. Now kiss. And then pushes the heads together. And then the severed heads of the brother and sister start making out. And then they die. 
<sighs> There's also an alternative at the very end, the third chapter of A Brother and Sister, I believe, that was probably the alternative to this, or just an extra chapter where there's a guillotine, and then the head gets chopped off, and then they keep fucking each other with their heads chopped off, and it's just, it's not a good fucking time! And then, like, that, the, the, the girl gets her head chopped off, and then she gra the brother grabs the head, and then she starts eating out herself, and then giving him head. Ha! <sighs> and while researching uh, Erogura's I realized that this is not the worst thing in the fucking world. Hell, even the art was more manga-ish, not kiddish style, but more basic manga, stereotypical manga style. Uh, there are a lot more Eragodas out there uh, that are a lot more realistically detailed, shadowed, colored, to where every fucking pores of the vein popping out of whatever fucking body part or dick is shaded and colored good. Uh, I'm never gonna fucking touch those, and this is a lot more tame. I understand that, and there's a lot worse out there. But this was my introduction, and this is really all that I want to do. I'm the fucking Komi-san YouTuber, okay? I am the I am the cute, oh, we're gonna read Komi-san this week. What's Komi-san doing? Oh, here's a manga about a cute girl in high school meeting this guy, and they start dating, and they're pretty, you know, they're doing saucy stuff, and it's, why am I doing this fucked up Aroge? Edo Gura, Guro, Goddamn fucking bodily fucking shit dick severed head having ah! <laughs> There was a reason why Joey and Sydney refused to fucking tell me about Edoguro uh, or refused to tell me like hey here's a recommendation because they don't even want to fucking deal with it. I don't know. I don't know man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I never I'm not, oh, I, though, through, though we may burn to ash was about witches being tortured, uh, you know, there's the maggot baits where there's maggots fucking dead bodies and going into your crevices, um, but this is about a lot of severed heads giving each other head, um, uh, a girl finger banging her own brain, and realistically, I just don't want to fucking deal with that, I just don't, I really don't think that Gore, Edo Goro is for me. Um, and the fact that there's more fucked up shit out there, I don't want nothing to do. Like, there's a there's an Edo out there that's fucked up that somebody recommended me in my in my Twitter. Uh, that uh, it was about these these insects that get really big and then they fuck the girl and the girl gets hooked on insect sex. Uh, that was disgusting. Uh, but I don't think anything tops this. I don't think anything tops this one. I don't know if I'm emphasizing the, how fucked up this was and how, how, how this fucking n nothing. I don't want nothing. To, I don't know. I don't know how fucked up this was. I don't think you're getting how, I don't know if I'm selling that point that much, but when I was reading this and just seeing a girl just cut her stomach open while she's coming and then get her head chopped off simultaneously, it just wasn't a good feeling. It wasn't good. I don't like this. I don't know why people read this. I don't know why. I don't want... No I just... Oh, my God. If you want to support the channel and go watch this uncensored, go to patreon.com slash Dakota Broski. Um, uh, follow me on Twitter. Like this video if you hated it. Comment this video if you hated it um, or if you loved it. And uh, if you ever read... At, what's the most fucked up hentai doujin you've ever, ever watched or read? Um, let me know down below because I'm pretty sure I will never check it out but it just feels good knowing that somebody else there suffered just as me of course i want to give a big shout out to screaming angry wombat sis lee watts Payne patrick colin comber connor f von garmer Dallas whitaker kakashley zero infinities fabian winland and noah howard thank you guys so much for the patreon tiers um anybody who is zero infinities and up gets to watch this fucked up atrocity for halloween happy halloween Stay safe, do COVID shit, wear a mask on your mask or just wear the mask. I don't know. I'm never touching this shit again in my fucking life. I'm going to uh, try and take everything out of my mind now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Komi-san into my head and hopefully all the other fucked up shit that I have had to read in the past 24 hours will be pushed out. Um, look at that. That's cute. Komi-san's giving chocolates to Tadano. And, uh, she made them, especially for her, and then she blushes, and then look at that, that's, that's cute. I'm, can we go back and talk about Komi-san now?